Yeah, sure. Just uh, really proud of our team today. Just a, a great environment today at the Al McGuire Center. Um, you know, these early non-conference tests are just just a great um, opportunity for, for both teams to kind of see where you're at early in the season. Um, Illinois is going to win a lot of games this year in the Big Ten. You know, they were without one of their, their top scorers. But I thought overall, um, just to have our kids in this, um, this game, this atmosphere, we just learned a lot about ourselves. Um, had a couple, um, you know, big leads at point and lost them and then, you know, battled back. I thought we made some key defensive stops and got a couple rebounds that really kind of propelled us over, over the edge. And I, I think, you know, ultimately we were led by our seniors. I thought Jordan, you know, was poised with some big plays for us. Liza Carlin was tremendous. And then, you know, Rose Nakumu probably doesn't get, you know, half the credit she deserves for the defensive effort she's putting on um, against different opponents. And I was just really proud of the way she played. Um, against Brian, a, a tremendous, um, a tremendous score inside and out, and I thought she did a nice job overall on her. Any questions, for Coach? <laughs> Hi, Coach. Um, so this is your second year in a row. With last year when you guys beat Texas and Gonzaga early on, um, and this year beating Illinois early on, you know, beating quality opponents very early on in the season rather than you know beating other teams. Like, what can that kind of do for you know your team's confidence being able to be go up and be uh, a quality opponent so early on in the season? Yeah, I think it's just like I said, a good measuring stick. We try and um, you know get some good matchups early on in that non-conference play, and uh, I think you know going down to the Bahamas last year gave us great confidence. That you're a little bit of the underdog in that mentality. I thought this game was very different. You're playing on your home floor. You get a, a little boost from your crowd, which is nice and. Um, you know, like I told the, the team in the locker room, just the, the preparation of the three days of just grinding away and putting, putting a game plan together and then doing everything we can to execute should be the fun part about it. Um, and then ultimately you hope when it's, when it's game day and the ball's, you know, thrown up that you, um, you stay the course and you, you try and take away some of the, the, the other team's strengths. And um, so I was just really proud of, I think, the positives that came out. There'll be plenty to work on, obviously. I mean, there's a million stats from this game we can go back and say hey we could do a little better at this or maybe you know I could have done something different to help them but I think the overall theme is the more uh, of these quality games early on um, you can do whether you win or lose it's, it's going to help you um, ultimately for conference time.